This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. This call may be recorded. It's Dave Ridley from NHExit.com. Okay. The BBC is reporting that the government you serve has ordered the arrest of Kurdish officials for holding a vote on independence. Is it right for you personally to serve a government that arrests people for holding a vote? Oh, okay, interesting question. Um, I don't think I can say anything about that. Uh, I appreciate you nevertheless saying that much. Shukran. <laughs> Why would anyone who lives in Kurdistan want to be part of Iraq if they can be arrested for holding a vote? Wait, so I'm sorry, did someone already get arrested for holding a vote? The arrests have been ordered, but not. I don't know if they've occurred yet. That's my understanding based on BBC reports. Okay, so was it in D.C. or was it, was it back home? Yes. I'm sorry, say in D.C. or back home? Uh, back, back in Iraq. Oh, okay. Um, well, Kurdistan, if you want to call it that. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure how things work back home or, or what, you know, what's, I'm not even involved in it. I think the best thing to do for you, for your case, is to call the embassy itself, and I'm sure you could probably get some kind of response from them regarding this case. And that's obviously if they have permission to do it, say anything. I'm working on it. A little person like me is never going to talk to the ambassador. <laughs> well, uh, as you can see, we basically represent, you know, we, we work here. Okay, so we, we represent, we try to help students. I personally help students from whether Kurdish or not Kurdish or, you know, or from Baghdad or whatever, whatever state they're from back home. So it doesn't really matter to us. So when you say whether, you know, whether we care to work under someone that holds, well, uh, the main purpose of this is, is helping, you know, helping all Iraqis regardless whether, whatever they are. But working for them, I mean, it's still new, we, you know, there's no definite, uh, thing, things could change and things are changing rapidly, so I guess we can't really say anything at the moment. It's interesting, if I were to call uh, a, a U.S. government official and try to get any kind of statement like that from any any U.S. government worker, they would tell me nothing. So I appreciate the fact that you are more transparent than the Americans. Well, this is the thing. I think it's, it's so new that no one can say anything about it. But obviously, I'm sure the call is monitored, and I hope they are not going to use whatever I'm saying in something. But I'm just, yeah, I'm just saying what's, what's on my own right now. All right. Well, I appreciate what you have said. Whether anyone else appreciates it or not, I do. <laughs> I can't you. expect you to say much, but I can expect you to think about what I'm asking you. Of course. Of course. Everyone should think about All right. You... Again, shukran. Bye. 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 LRN programs is very nice. They're so great, I like them twice. Some people don't take LRN's advice, but they're softer than Alex Jones and louder than mice. LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.